Hello, my name is Gregor van den Bogart from the University of Augsburg and as was introduced, I'm I want to talk about ACLs over here and sharing. Now, what everybody I think observes is if you have some constraints, some boundary conditions, people with a similar problem end up in a completely different solution and therefore I try to uh, clarify a few assumptions and constraints. So assume you have an organization like, for example, a university. They have in, the, um, in their IT some sort of directory service, an LDAP, an active directory, an, um, an identity management system to, for lifecycle management, and to model essentially the organization in IT. Additionally, they found out a few years ago they need some sort of uh, private storage cloud for sync and for share, typically more inside the organization or beyond the organization, inside the LDAP supports you, beyond it doesn't. And from these three assumptions, um, I have to derive that the storage cloud does not orbit like other IT service, or it does orbit like other IT service around some unexplored center in this universe. It is not the universe itself. There's no world domination yet. By that, I mean especially no world domination in this organization. So probably next cloud will uh, gain world domination later on, but in this organization it will not have it. Okay, and then we want to achieve something. We want to share and sync data from a NAS filer, and we want to use the external storage interface, and we want to do it transparently so that you can, over the other protocols, do the same thing as you can do over next cloud. And therefore, we try to explore ACLs. There are a few access control list systems out there. POSIX mode is, is not one, it's too limited. POSIX, AC, POSIX ACLs, I think, basically not used, they, but they are richer than mode. There's the NTF ACLs, which is basically <coughs> this industry standard, I think. The NFS, NFSv4 ACLs, which are quite similar, almost identically. And CRUDE's permissions, as in Nextcloud, uh, from my perspective, can also be seen as an ACL thing. So, list of access control entries. If you look onto a system of access control, you typically have to answer a few similar questions. One is, how do you handle folders in contrast to directories? Directories are typically used to organize, sorry, files in contrast to directories or folders. They are typically used to organize files. Who can read, write, or have anything else as permissions, like control them, have do reshare or something like that. Who else could have permissions on this object, on these entities? And how to determine permissions for new objects? All of the systems I described before or mentioned before have found some sort of answer to this. And the tables, if you want to look at the slides offline, will give you a few hints for all of those four systems. I want to specifically talk about the NTFS and NFSv4 ACLs because they are so similar, because we're using them, and um, you can learn a few things from them. The NTFS4, no, the NTFS ACLs introduced 14 permissions folded with things like allow ACEs, <coughs> deny ACEs, and audit, and alarm, and more things. They have inherited ACLs for new objects, objects as you probably know, and a few other things to know, uh, it's quite common, uh, it's common sense to stick to allow ACEs, because otherwise you are lost. And Windows, as you probably also know, reduces those 40 permissions, projects them down again to three, basically three, the basic permissions which are read, modify change, so that's read and write, and full control. They also have a few things to comply with the POSIX mode, NTFS, and, and, and NFS before. I skip that table. I land here. Okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> Next class has these CRUDE permissions, and that's what we derived from this. Um, so you see that for, uh, for files, it's reduced to three permissions, basically. For directories, you have all five of them. and. We think you can do this, all this also with ACLs, with the 40 permissions, you can project it down, and if you look at it from the other way around, uh, you can also do it from CRUDES to NFS. So, basically, um, access control, I think, is typically read, write, and control, perhaps upload in the context of uh, cloud sharing, 
beyond POSIX mode and POSIX, POSIX ACLs, every system can handle it, including routes, obviously, and in setups where you have a central um, directory service, you can try to harmonize that and bring everything together and have a transparent access control. Thank you.